Welcome to South Sound Seniors, a program for and about older adults in our community. I'm Eileen McKenzie Sullivan, and I'm just thrilled to be with you. This is one of our shows that we do in partnership with the Senior Action Network. Every other month, we have a guest from that wonderful organization. And tonight, we have Michael Bradick. Bradrick. 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 I'll get it one of these days. I got the Michael down. You did. That's great. <laughs> And Michael, you own a business and you've been wonderful in our community. It's Live at Home on Your Own. Live at Home on Your Own communicates what, what we're all about, yes. Right, and you are really there to help people, families or people, individuals, seniors, make their home safe for them and so that they can be on their own. And the, the byline really says everything. Our byline is... Uh, um, solutions for a lifetime of independent living. And my passion is I would rather go out and educate someone to help them understand why they need these things rather than sell them something. Right. So right. I, I'm, I'm not a mercenary. I'm not just out there to sell you a, a, a walk-in tub or something uh -huh. like that. I really want to see people be able to live longer uh, more independently and more safely in their own homes rather than being forced into a nursing facility or, or mm -hmm. health and rehab, whatever, whatever right. the case might be. Well, I know we were talking a little bit before the cameras turned on that you realize that seniors have a little bit of denial, and I might be understating <laughs> it a little bit about what they might need to be in their homes. Well, I, I think all of us have a certain amount of denial. And, uh, and I'll, I'll start with a story about myself. Okay. <laughs> uh, I uh, responded to a call. Uh, someone needed to get a ramp installed before they could get mom out of the uh, health and rehab. Mm -hmm. So I show up on a Saturday morning rather than, you know, get one of my guys. I'm out there installing it myself. And this great big strapping guy is standing there watching me. And he's constantly on his phone texting or, or answering the phone. And he finally is talking to someone. And he says, yes, they're here putting up the ramp for mom right now. No, I don't know how long it's going to take. They just sent one old guy out. <laughs> and I, I, I was you know, thinking through this whole arena of, uh, of denial. And I realized that, you know, I'm part of the problem. Yeah. I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not necessarily part of the solution. And... That as I've thought about this, you know, what we're talking about is one of the greatest generations who have seen the world change from horse and buggy to, you know, jets and uh, automobiles everywhere. I mean, it's just amazing the changes that have taken right. place. And they have gone through the Great Depression. They've gone through uh, World War II with all of the deprivation and the... the uh, uh, Oh, what are the coupons that they had oh, for the yeah, yeah you the know ration books, the yeah. ration books and those things? So, so we have a, a, a generation of people who have learned how to make do on nearly nothing, and to be very resourceful and to to just self denial is is part of it, and denying that they you know need something that's gonna gonna be expensive. So the resistance is, you know. I don't want to pay for something because I really don't need it. Right. When the, the truth of the matter is that a third of us who are 65 and older will fall every year. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, m many of those, uh, two thirds of them will be, you know, injury related where you're going to the emergency room. You right. know, they're, they're, right. the statistics are just absolutely staggering. In 2012, 2.4 million people were hospitalized because of falls. Falling, yeah. That's not the number of people that fell. That's the number of people that had to go to the hospital. Right. And then uh, when someone falls, the likelihood of them falling again within six months is... is so it just speeds very, And, and it, it's, mm -hmm. I call it a downward spiral. Mm -hmm. So, you know, how do, how do we encourage children and uh, advisors to talk to these wonderful self-reliant people who have learned how to make do on next to nothing and no, I don't need to, to spend my right. hard-earned hard savings because I really don't need it. Mm -hmm. When in fact, 
we need to plan for the for the future. We need to uh, make those investments so that we can stay safely in our own homes, living with the people that we love, living in a uh, an environment that we enjoy. You know, in a right. neighborhood that we we don't we chose. Leave. Yeah, yeah, we don't want to leave it. And and I've seen situations where where people have lived years longer than they were diagnosed to live because they were with family and all these other things mm -hmm. versus having gone into an institutionalized care. And not that we can prevent every fall, mm -hmm. but all of us get unstable, yeah. you know? And, right. and you who just had two knees replaced right. <laughs> understand exactly what I'm talking about. So most people know about grab bars, mm -hmm. but there are so many things that are being uh, invented, created, uh, uh, and manufactured in a way that is affordable that most people don't know about. Uh, so, it, it, I mean, there, there's just a plethora of, of, uh, of things that are available. Now, to, actually, to I remember you doing a presentation for the Senior Action yes. Network, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you had some pictures and slides of things that just marvelous things that I had no idea were <laughs> out there. And I work with seniors and have for over 30 years. So it's just amazing the ingenious inventions that are really being created. You're a absolutely right. And this is where, uh, you know, the uh, incredible information age that we live in uh -huh. is so beneficial because if something is created in Canada or in Europe, we hear about it and either we can do the same thing or we can buy it from them. Mm -hmm. So, you know, everyone knows that you can get a grab bar and, but a lot of people don't know that those grab, grab bars can be put up in a way that they're still unsafe because uh, yeah. they only put studs so close together, you right. know, 16 right. inches at the closest generally. And if you can't hit a stud, how do you get that thing to be secure? Yeah. So the fasteners that I use uh, will support up to 800 pounds of oh, pull wow. just in sheetrock. Uh -huh. So it, it, these things have really come a long way. Yeah. I've told people, you know, they say, well, I've got one of these fiberglass showers that, you know, right. how do you put a grab bar in that? Uh -huh. Well, I've said that unless you can cut open the wall behind and put a piece of backing behind it to screw the grab bar into, you know, we really can't do much of anything. Well, now there are techniques. For instance, uh, once you determine exactly where that, gra that uh, stud is, mm -hmm. you can cut a hole in the fiberglass and screw a bolt into the stud mm -hmm. that has a spacer that's threaded and then a, a disc that you put silicone on and tighten it down over that so that it's sealed to the back mm -hmm. of the fiberglass and you mount the grab bar to these discs and wow. it's just like it's mounted into the studs. Wow. So it? Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's, it's a little scary when you start cutting somebody's shower. <laughs> <It's> like, <"Yeah." laughs> so uh, anyway, and then uh, there are other things that have been created, uh, like a, they call it a super pole. It, it sits on the floor with a disc that has rubber on the back of it, and then it screws up tight against the ceiling with a, a spreader, like a 16, 18 inch uh, spreader that has rubber on the top of that. So literally, it just with the tension and a lock nut on it, mm -hmm. it is stable Solid. enough for uh -huh. you to, to get in and out of the shower, mm -hmm. up and down from the toilet, uh, in and out of a chair or your bed. And then there's an optional uh, bar that uh, rotates uh, mm -hmm. and we can set it at any height. Mm -hmm. And it rotates at 45 degree angles. You just with the, you lift up the weight of the bar and move it. And you can get it in front of you when you're having a bad day, sit up, move it and get out of bed. Uh -huh. And, and the, the beauty of a device like this is that when you are unstable, that these bars have a, a, a rubber grip on the pole and on the, the handle, mm -hmm. you can get a hold of something and you can grab it in a panic and it'll keep you from, mm -hmm. from falling. I just came up with a good idea. If you have people that deny they need one, you just tell them, well, it's for when you take your pole dancing lessons. <laughs> and then, you know, if you need it to help you get out of bed, that's okay, too. There you too. go. There yeah. you go. <laughs> yeah. That should appeal to somebody. The, <laughs> and the, uh, so, you know, just going through some of the, the, the math as far as the costs. Right. Of, that's always a concern. Uh, I, I, I tell people that these poles, uh, some of the other things, cost 
half or less of the ride to the emergency room. Yeah. And not that we can prevent every ride to the emergency room, but I just finished uh, helping one of the area agencies work through a, a large grant that mm -hmm. they were they received to help people who had frequently called 911 because they fell and they couldn't get up. Uh -huh. Those are the people that are really at risk. Right. So as we get older, as we, we start to feel a little instability, mm -hmm. my motto is call before you fall. <laughs> and, uh -huh. uh, and, and so the, the biggest problem is that uh, two thirds of the people who fall repeatedly end up breaking a hip or a shoulder. Right. And you know the pain of uh, the surgery that uh, mm -hmm. it goes with knee replacement and things of that nature. And uh, putting up some of these pieces of equipment mm -hmm. can, again, not, not solve everything, but can certainly prevent a, a good number of them if right. there are places. Because I, I, when I go out, I ask people, where, where do you have instability? Mm -hmm. And you where the number one place is? The bathroom. The bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two thirds of all falls or, or more uh, happen in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And almost everybody has this 15 inch step that they struggle getting over. Well, the first thing you can do is get something to hang on to when you're trying to make that 15 inch step yeah. into the tub. Yeah. And, and then, you know, there, there are lots of uh, different devices. There is a chair that clamps to the edge of the tub that slides out mm -hmm. and turns uh, so that you can turn right around, sit down, uh -huh. push a button, it starts to slide back, push another button, you lift, or if you need help, you can get your leg lifted in, mm -hmm. you lift the other leg in, it slides in and pops into position. Then you bathe, mm -hmm. <laughs> with the curtain closed, obviously, uh -huh. and, uh, uh, and then you can get out mm -hmm. and you're not having to make that step. Uh -huh. So that's, that's one solution. Uh, other things are, I mean, everybody knows because they're advertised on television um, frequently, the walk-in tubs. Right, the door. And, the, yeah. Yes, the door. So what, what I've installed uh, even more frequently are the roll-in showers. Ah. Uh -huh. So, uh, and there's a, and I've searched to try to find companies that I can trust mm -hmm. because I, I don't want to sell something that I don't have faith in. Mm -hmm. I actually have one of these in my own home. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because it's designed so that it will never leak into the wall. Ah. Uh, okay. the, the corners come together, the, uh -huh. the way the walls fit in, and then it has half inch plywood in the wall when you screw a wow. grab bar to it uh, or screw the seat that, that mm -hmm. lifts up and down, it's solid. Wow. So. Well, Michael, you are a wealth of knowledge. And when you go out to talk to people about these options, do you send them a big bill for just talking to them? No, I don't. I don't. Oh, okay. I just, it's, it's, like I say, it's my passion. Yeah. I love to go out and talk to them. And So uh, people should at least call and see what the possibilities are. Exactly. And then they can say yes to this, no to that, and, you know, really prioritize what they might be interested in doing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I know you well enough, too, that you do a home assessment to just yes. mm -hmm. say just simple things like pick up these throw rugs that you could be tripping over and that kind of thing. Well, when you've lived in a home for 30 or 40 years, mm -hmm. you're so familiar, you don't know what's, what's, what the, hazards what the are. dangers yeah. really are. And one of the other things I offer is if someone needs a ramp uh -huh. and a family member wants to build it, please give me a call. I'll give you some pointers uh -huh. because the scariest ramps I've seen are built by well-meaning people for those, the, the people that they love. Yeah. And, uh, and they, they just, they don't understand that well, they may be strong enough to go up this ramp, right. but gram grandma or grandpa aren't strong right. enough. Yeah. So, and, and I would rather give someone advice mm -hmm. on how, how to, how to build it and build it so it lasts and just keep somebody from falling. Okay. Well, thank you, Michael. You kind of opened up all kinds of possibilities <laughs> of questions people can ask. Yes. Um, technologies that they may not know about that they should find out about before they just say, okay, I guess I have to move because I can't stay here. Right. Yeah.
Okay, well, thank you so much for coming welcome. in and mm -hmm. thank you for being a wonderful active member of Senior Action Network. I enjoy it. Thank you for oh, inviting me. We mm. enjoy you too. Appreciate so. that. We will be back in just a minute because I want you to find out the ins and the outs of Meals on Wheels. So please stay with us. <laughs>